What's up, Tigers fans? Carly Johnston here, and today I'm joined by Rockwood native John Shriver. John, how's it going? Good. How are you? Good. Thanks for asking. What have you been doing to stay busy during this quarantine? Any new hobbies? Uh, not really. Just playing a lot of video games. Uh, just been keeping in shape, exercising, throwing, and doing all that stuff. Love it. Okay. Being a Michigan native, how incredible is it to be in your hometown team's organization? Uh, it's incredible. You know, it's a dream come true. Uh, you know, I've always wanted to play baseball for the Tigers ever since I was a little kid. So it's just incredible to be on the team and in the organization. So it's just been an awesome ride. Yeah, no kidding. What was it like getting drafted by the Tigers? Like what was going through your mind when you heard your name called? Uh, my mind was just racing, you know, everybody in my family was just so excited. There's tears going everywhere and, you know, it was just incredible. So it was definitely a special moment in, in my life. So growing up in Michigan, were you ever uh, at any T Detroit Tigers games, hoping one day you'd be out on the field? Yeah. Uh, I went to Tiger game, Tigers games a lot. Um, you know, some of my favorite players were like Brandon Inge, Craig Monroe, Curtis Granderson, Jeremy Bonderman. So I mean, uh, we went to we went to baseball games a lot, and you know I think that's what started it for me was, you know I wanted to be on the on the field like these guys were. So, do you have a favorite memory growing up about going to those baseball games? Yeah, I mean I guess my favorite memory is my first uh, baseball getting autographed by uh, Chris Shelton, um, and you know there's another memory too where. They had a kids camp and it was Curtis Granderson and Brandon Inge and I got to attend that. So that was that was pretty cool when I was a little kid to go to. And how does it feel to be now on the other end of that where little kids want your signature on their baseballs? It's surreal. I mean, you don't really think about that, uh, you know, playing baseball your whole life. And, you know, it's just incredible that you that somebody can reach that goal of, you uh, getting to the MLB. So, I mean, it's just been a crazy ride and, you know, I'm just going to cherish it forever. Okay. And during quarantine, I saw on your Instagram that you got a cat. How's it going being a cat dad? <laughs> <laughs> she's all right. It's all right. She's doing good. She's pretty cute. Uh, she's just running around, you know, we got her when she was a year old. So she still uh, has some kitten qualities to her. <laughs> Next is going to be a dog, hopefully. What kind of dog? Uh, I want to get a cockapoo. Okay, why? Why a cockapoo? Yeah. Did you grow up with them? Uh, that was yeah. I grew up with one, and you know, I miss him. <laughs> what got you into baseball? Did your dad play, or do you have any siblings or family members that got you into it? Yeah, my dad got me into it. Uh, he built a mound behind our house, and you know, we just go out in the backyard and throw almost every day. And, you know, so he's been a big part of my life with baseball. Love it. Okay. You've had a bit of a journey to finally make it to the major leagues, making your debut in August of 2019. What was it like being on the mound with that old English D on your chest? It was, it was awesome. I mean, a lot of the veteran guys, you know, they told me to, uh, once I get out there just to like step off and turn around and, you know, take it all in for a second before you, you know, throw your first pitch and I ended up doing that. And, you know, it's just going to be in my, it's just gonna be a memory forever. And, you know, I'm going to cherish it forever. So. Absolutely. And you earned your first major league win the following month, pitching the final two thirds of an inning in the win over the athletics. What did it feel like to get that first win under your belt in the MLB? Um, you know, as a reliever, I wasn't really going in there expecting to, you know, get a win under my belt, but uh it was it's just it was awesome i mean uh i was smiling all night and you know my parents were so excited my wife was excited um you know the team you know got in the locker room and you know they're all hooting and hollering for me and you know it was just awesome okay you spoke on your wife you got married uh not last year not this past january but the one before that what's married like been like it's been good i mean uh we're getting adjusted to uh, our new apartment and, you know, uh, it's been, it's been awesome. You know, we've had this extra time uh, to spend with each other. So uh, it's been, it's been great. I'm sure quarantine has been a good test. <laughs> <laughs>
All right, pivoting back to baseball, spring training this year. I know it was a shortened one, but how do you feel your gameplay was during the time you had in Lakeland? You know, every going into spring training every year, you it's kind of just like you, it's a learning experience every year. You know, trying to get back into uh, um, you know your your full self as a pitcher, and uh, you know each year you just learn new things to try and better your craft. And you know, it was it's definitely improving year by year and day by day so yeah awesome okay and it must be hard not to be training at the facility with the team but what are you doing to stay ready for when the season does resume i've um, just been doing workouts that our trainers have been sending us and you know uh throw, throwing uh bullpens and stuff like that just trying to stay ready when the season starts so um you know i'm as ready as i can be uh for when we get started up Gotta stay ready. And what do you miss most about the baseball season? Um, just like the chemistry, you know, all the guys have together, you know, everybody's laughing every day, having a good time playing baseball. And, you know, I just miss, uh, you know, all the guys on the team. How do you feel about the possibility of playing in front of no fans or limited fans when the season does return? It's definitely going to be a change of scenery, that's for sure. But, um, you know, at the end of the day, we're, we're just trying to win. You know, so trying to win a World Series this year and years to come. So nothing's going to change with that. Okay. And who are some baseball players you've modeled your game after? Me as a side armor, you know, I watch a lot of video of uh, C Shack and uh, Pat Neshek. So, I mean, those guys I try and uh, learn from by watching videos. Okay. What are you hoping to accomplish this season when it resumes? play uh, to my best ability and trying to help the team win. Last but not least, is there any uh, advice you would give to an up-and-coming baseball player hoping to make it in the MLB? Uh, just never give up. Um, just keep working your hardest. Uh, you never know what can happen. So, I mean, just keep working hard. Well, John, thank you so much for joining me today. It's been a pleasure talking to you. I hope you stay well during this time. See you guys next time.